Hi everyone, Saren over here and I'm back again with another video. Um, today we're going to be looking at uh, heavy junk box farming uh, from the Green Guild Slaves on the Isle of Queldanas. Now, this is essential for the insane title. It's part of the Ravenhold uh, reputation grind, which is the final part. And I've just completed this, um, so I thought I'd make a little guide for you. What you need to do for Alliance is you need to be taking the portal to Stormwind. The reason I would take the portal to Stormwind is we get another little portal as soon as we land there. And this takes us to the Burning Crusade. So you need to be going to Hellfire Peninsula using the portal. Now, once you actually get there, what we need to be doing is we need to be uh, taking the Flight Master. And we need to be um, taking that to Shathra. It's just down on the left hand side as you can see in the video. Um, but if you don't have the flight paths, it's just a manual flight over. Just make sure that you've actually paid for the um, for the flights, uh, the flying skills before you actually go there. They're available in Stormwind as well. Now, one of the essential parts of doing this form is to have a macro in place. Now, it's a monotonous task. It's taken me about 10 to 12 hours. So use this macro that's on the screen now. What this allows you to do is allows you to hover over the mobs with your cursor and loot the mobs without having to manually click around, etc. Now, all you need to do to use the macro is just do slash macro, and it opens up the macro panel, create a new macro, paste the text in, which is in the um, comment section below, and there, it's done. I'll show you in the video how we use the, the macro first and foremost, but uh, what we basically need to be doing is getting from Shathra right the way through to the Isle of Queldanis. Now, when you land, what you're looking for is you're looking for a portal. Now, currently the time walking um, dungeons are on at the moment, so I thought I'd use that as a bit of a reference point so you can find them. So, as you can see, the time walking dungeons are there, and if you have a little look behind it, and to the left, you'll see that the, the portal is just underneath the um, platform. So have a little flyover. And once you actually portal into Isle of Gualdanis, we need to make a little bit of a uh, stopgap to the map point. So now we're in the Isle of Gualdanis. What you actually need to do is you need to be going to a little area of the, of the map um, called Green Gill Coast. Now, there's no fly in here. So we're going to have to manually use the land mount. Um, remember having to do that? It's an absolute pain. But it's a short little journey anyway. What you basically need to be doing is when you get to this area is you need to be uh, farming the mobs as, as quickly as possible. And it's actually one of the infinite spawn areas that uh, I was going to cover in the infinite spawn series that I, I did a couple of months back. The reason I haven't done this is it's not a very lucrative area in terms of gold and green. So most people tend to not farm this area, which is great for, for heavy jump box uh, farming. The other area, um, the other reason I use this area is the mobs respawn quite quickly and they're actually quite closely knit together. Personally, it's my second favourite spot for heavy junk boxes and there is another area uh, that I'm going to cover in another, in another video in the next couple, of, uh, next couple of days as well. But as you can see here, what I'm doing is I'm just hovering over the mouse, um, hovering over with the mouse even, and just hitting the macro button. I'm doing it very slowly at the moment just so you can actually see kind of what we're doing. Um, but what you do is you need to kill the mobs, and what this will do is this will get them to spawn in the sort of the next sort of couple of couple of minutes, it, it, seconds sometimes, depending on how quickly you do this. But again, when you're here, you'll see the little route that I'm doing just around the coast, um, getting the mobs. I'm taking my time here just to show you exactly what we're actually doing. Um, but as you do it more and more and more and more, believe you me, you will be doing this a lot. You'll start to spot patterns. You'll start to spot patterns for mobs. You'll also start to spot where you actually get stuck on some of the structures. This is one of the downsides for this area. It's, you know, there's obstacles in the way you can get stuck. It's a little bit frustrating, especially if you want to um, sort of stick a movie on or something like that and just farm around and just grind and grind and grind. Um, but again, just use the mouse, use the macro. And what you can then do is um, you can then just hover over that, um, kill all the mobs, and then just move on to the next pack and just go on and on and on. So like I say, I just tend to stick around the, the, the coastal area, just go around the, 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 the little route, and then what will then happen is we'll, we'll hit another area, it'll start again, and you just need to keep doing this over and over again. On average for this area, I was getting around about 50 to 70 heavy junk boxes per hour. Personally, 
there are better spots, but this is one of the good good um, ways of doing it, where you will be pretty much uninterrupted. The only other people who will tend to come here will be rogues. Um, if they're friendly, there's not a lot you can really do with this competition. If they're on the other faction, so for me, some uh, some horde rogues, you can either be a nuisance and just sap them quite a bit, or you know you can actually just uh, take them out in PvP. This character is not geared at all for PvP. And I pretty much suck at PvP as well, so you know it's uh, it was pretty much ineffective. So I hope you liked the video. Um, please uh, like and please subscribe to the video before you'll see in a previous update. I was uh, demonetized, so um, hopefully um, I can get my subscriber levels up to the point where you know I can get a little bit of reward from this. But the ultimate reward for me is that you may find this guy useful, and if you have, leave a comment in the uh, comment section below.